Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a legend outside of the plot area in a base R plot. So in the video I'm going to use the example data that we can create here in lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run this code you will see that a new data object appears here at the top right of our R studio. We can also have a look at this data by double clicking here on this data object. And uh, then you can see that our data contains three columns, X, Y, and a group column, and 200 rows. So if we want to draw a legend outside of the plot area, we have to use the par function, as you can see here in line seven of the code. And uh, within the par function, we have to specify two arguments. So the first argument is the mar argument. And here with uh, this argument, we can specify how much space we want to draw around our plot. And this is important because uh, once we draw our legend later on, we need some additional space because we want to draw the legend outside of our plot area. So uh, here uh, you can set the, the space for each side of the plot. And um, depending on the size of your legend, you need to increase these values. And uh, then the second option that we need to specify here within the par argument is the XPD argument. And this is simply specifying that we can draw a legend outside of the regular plot area. So after specifying uh, these two lines of code, uh, we can draw our plot as we would usually do. So uh, in this case, um, we have a, a data frame, as I have shown you before, which contains two uh, different columns. And we can draw a scatter plot of these two columns, as you can see here. I can also make this a little bit larger. And uh, as you can see, our data contains two groups. So one uh, group with uh, these black dots and one group with uh, red triangles. Now, if we want to draw a legend outside of this plot, um, we need to specify uh, the position, the, the um, position at which we want to draw this legend. So in this case, I want to draw the legend um, outside of the top right of my plot. So for that reason, I'm specifying here the top right position. And uh, if I would just draw the, the legend at the top right position, then the legend would appear here inside the plot. However, now we can use the inset argument within the legend function, and we can specify here that we want to move our legend to the positions minus 0 0.4 and 0. And that actually means that we are moving our top right legend a little bit further to the right. Yeah, and then uh, afterwards, we need to specify our legend as we would usually do. And uh, if we run these lines of code, then you can see that the legend is created outside of the plot. So in summary, uh, we have to specify the par argument so that we have enough space around our plot. And then we have to use the inset argument within the legend function to move our legend further to the right or to the left or to wherever you want to plot your legend. OK, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Um, however, uh, I have recently published a tutorial on this topic on my homepage, statisticsglobe.com. So if you want to learn more about this topic, um, you could check out my homepage. I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video, so you could check it out there. Also, I will put all the R code of this tutorial in the description of the video. So if you want to copy paste it and run it yourself, you could just copy it from there. And uh, then if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
in order to get notifications about videos that I'm releasing in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.